Tinglu, one of the four Ruination Pokemon, is absolutely killing it in the Generation 9 metagame. This moose looking Pokemon with a pot on its head has turned out to be one of the most bulky Pokemon to be ever created. Generation 9 for the most part has kept its good standing in eliminating Stahl as best as possible with the introduction of this massive power creep, but Ting Lu seems to be a relic of the past quite literally turning its hateful aura into a dominant defensive presence. With having a plethora of moves to pick from, Ting Lu has served well as that bulky hazard setter on many teams, setting up stealth rocks and spikes, and then after staying in and getting chipped damage with moves like Throw Chop, Earthquake, or even the move Ruination, which does 50% damage to the target automatically. Ting Lu has also served in getting rid of setup mons quite easily, with it already being able to absorb most attacks in the game quite nicely, it can comfortably click the move Whirlwind and break that momentum on your opponent's side. Ruination has also been a pivotal move in breaking down other stall type Pokemon like Toxapex, Corviknight, and Rotom Wash. Dark Ground has also punished fire type moves on Switch in and has been a great support with Unaware Dondozo, which is susceptible to those electric type moves on the special side. So it can be a great tandem partner and in return, Unaware Dondozo can help deal with those pesky Cinderace and Great Tusks that run around and potentially punish Ting Lu's passivity. With the ability Vessel of Ruin, this allows to permanently decrease the special attack stat of all Pokemon on the field, which basically indirectly boosts its special defense stat even further and has been critical in walling many special users like Iron Moth, Spex Dragapult, Goldango, and more. This has also helped Ting Lu since it already has a massive defense stat, fully invest in that 252 HP and 252 special defense in its kit to be bulky on both offensive sides. Ting Lu has basically seen two mainstay terra types on it. Fairy and Poison. Fairy is pretty obvious and it eliminates the obvious weaknesses Dark and Ground pose, especially that 4 times weakness to fighting, in exchange for a pretty solid defense type with only having to worry about Poison and Steel typing, two types that are not really common offensively. Fairy has also allowed you not to be threatened by other grass type moves like Giga Drain from Volcarona or Terra Blast Grass from Dracera Ledge. Terra Poison has also been a great option, allowing once again to eliminate many of those defensive problems it would have in exchange for a weakness in Ground and Psychic, which Psychic in all honesty isn't all that common as Ground. So ground is really the only issue to worry about. Terra Poison additionally allows for the removal of toxic spikes on Switch In, once again helping Ting Lu establish itself as that bulky hazard Pokemon on your side, and finishing in the top 10 usage for February has just reinforced that idea. And hey, if you want to know why King Gammon is also a dominant Pokemon in the metagame, finishing also top 10 in the usage for February, please be sure to go check out this video over here and subscribe for more competitive content just like this.